Hey everyone, today I would like to show you in this video what were my most liked and most used um, products of the past month of April. First I have two eyeliners and um, the first one is by Yada Maybelline. It's the line definer, liquid definer in black. And it has this kind of felt tip. What I like about this is um, it's not expensive and it has a super good quality in my opinion. It's so easy to apply and um, especially if you're going for some kind of winged look um, then this is perfect and it has a huge color pigmentation and by the way I have it on today and what really important for me is that um, yeah the product that I'm going to apply on my eye area is working with my sensitive eyes that's why I normally tend to stay away from drugstore products. I wouldn't say in general, but um, yeah, I've just found out that some of the drugstore brands are just not working with my sensitive skin or eyes. I don't know exactly why. I know a lot of friends who can easily um, use everything that the drugstore is offering but so not me, um, but this really works and honestly <laughs> um, I just decided to buy this one because of the color of the packaging. I'm not a super duper pink fan but this one caught my eyes and um, I had to buy it. The second eyeliner is by Art Deco which is um, probably my favorite brands besides Clinique and this one is called Mineral Kaya Liner number 82 and I hope you can see it has um, a really nice dark purple color And what I love is you can um, just turn it out and turn it in back again and it has this um, included little sharpener at the end of the pencil. Super cute. This liner is um, super smooth, super creamy, um, easy to apply and there is nothing bad about it, I, what I could say. The next product is also by Art Deco and it's an eyeshadow. It's the number 38. It's looking like this. It has shimmer in it. And it's a very light and delicate goldish color. And right now I really like this kind of golden summer look on my eyes. So um, I use that color a lot during the last month. The next item is not really a beauty product, it's more a beauty tool um, and it's nothing really new to me. Um, I know this for a couple of years but I haven't used it since let's say uh, the last half year. I don't know why, I just skipped it one day and um, it's a lash curler and I rediscovered um, it during the last month and this is something that I really can recommend. Um, after I have stayed away from this tool a couple of months I um, have recognized now um, when I have used it again that this is going to give a huge difference to your yeah, lashes. They look longer and this is definitely open up your eyes. They somehow yeah, just pop and look more intense. The last makeup product I'm going to um, show you is a lipstick. It's by Manhattan 
and it's um, from their Intense and Moisture and Gloss collection. That's the number 56E. <clears throat> and the color is looking like this. It's a really settled down baby pink with beige undertones. Maybe I can swatch it for you. That would it be easier. See this? This is how it looks. And by the way, if you have problems with um, dry lips, which I definitely have, um, then these lipsticks um, from the Intense Moisture and Gloss collection are perfect. Your dry lips will totally disappear. I'm also including... Um, a nail polish in my April favorites and um, this is a nail polish by P2 from the color victim collection I have it on today it's looking like this it's a beige grayish color and it's the color stormy the number 207 Now I'm going to show you um, some hair products and first I like to start with um, something for giving your hair a little bit of volume or add some volume and this is by Lee Stafford and this is called um, Volumizing Mousse Double Blow Non Sticky Non Crispy for a Tower of Oomphness and a body to die for and what you have to do with this is after you have washed your hair um, you should apply it um, on your wet hair first then you blow dry your hair and if you want to have super duper maximum volume then you have to apply it twice after your hair is totally dry and then wait a couple of minutes and blow dry it again a little bit and yeah then you should have super duper volume I have to say this is not giving you the biggest hair ever seen on the planet but um, in my case it definitely gives me volume because normally my hair is totally flat laying down on the top and I do not really like that um, and normally I do straighten my hair and when I do that it's just looking too sleek for um, my kind of face so this definitely is going to give um, a difference to my hair when you um, first smell this or when I first smelled this I thought I do not like this because it smells like a hair product for men and normally the smell of a product is super important to me that's why I first thought oh I'm going to give that back but then I give it a try and now I'm happy with that because um, this kind of masculine smell that it has at the beginning is totally disappearing once your hair is dry then it's just smelling fresh and nice and I feel comfortable with that during the whole day. And the last two items are um, from the same brand and the same collection. They are by L'Oreal El Vital. And um, this is the shampoo. And this is um, a daily leave-in conditioner spray. This is made against um, split ends of your hair and um, especially made for hair that is often going to be styled it's easy to comb through your hair and um, the spray not the shampoo but the spray is um, going to straighten your hair so um, for me that means I do not have to use um, the straightening iron in the morning and that is um, something pretty good for me because I do not like to spend that much time in the morning for my styling 
So these were my April favorites, but um, I would love to see your favorites of the past month as well. Therefore, I would be super happy if you would leave a video response to this video. Now I'm wishing you a nice day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.